Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be working the 2017 past paper question on organizational chart. However, for this video, instead of using the normal route to do the organizational chart, I'm going to be doing the organizational chart using smart art so as to give persons an option as to which way they prefer in doing their organizational chart to so and come on um, to so do that in their exam if it is that they are given such a question so the question is here before me and as usual we are going to go through the question first and then type the document after so the question says create the organizational chart using landscape orientation follow all instructions set the margins to one inch or 2.54 centimeters all around and we should save it as chart all right, so I'm going to go down to that organizational chart. However, I'm going to seek to turn it around as it is not properly visible. All right, here it is. So it says Alliance Traders Limited Organizational Chart, and the instruction says that that information should be centered. All right, then we have Sales Director G. Murray, um, Northern Branch Sales Manager, and Southern Branch Sales Manager. So it says that both the words Northern Branch and Southern Branch should be in all capital letters. The next level of the chart, we should change T Turner to J Crooks. All right, and these are the senior sales representative and senior sales representative. All right, the word representative is written out here and senior. So it simply means that we should follow that in the section over here that is not properly spelled out all right we should expand all abbreviations all right um so that should read senior sales representative m henderson uh, when it comes to the next level with the sales representatives it says that we should put h atkinson above c d and we should put r l over to this side and we should um in the center between s and b right s benson and d fuller and we should put L Nairn in his or her position, all right? And then the final level says we should have maintenance personnel, customer sales representative, and maintenance personnel and customer sales representative. Uh, because this is a fairly easy organizational chart, it's not, not much work to do except to type what you see with minimal um, corrections. It is just for seven marks. Nonetheless, it could be the seven marks that will cost you your grade one. So let's get to it. I'm going to go over to Microsoft Word and do my preliminaries. All right. Um, so let me get there now. So it says first and foremost that we should put our paper in the landscape orientation. So I'm going to go to orientation and select landscape. Next, it says that I should ensure that my margin is one inch all around. And by default on my computer, it is one inch all around. So that is good. I'm going to go home and I'm going to select center alignment. All right. And that is to type the name of the person. All right. So I'm going to go back. All right. Instead of going back, I'm just going to split my screen side by side. All right. So here it is. All right. Now bear in mind that my organize, not my organizational chart, my Microsoft Word document is currently in landscape. So everything will not be shown. All right, and here is the organizational chart. All right, um, so let's see how we can maneuver. All right, so it starts off by saying Alliance Traders, and I'm not seeing all of it. Alliance Traders Limited Organizational Chart. So, and it's in all caps. Traders. organizational chart all right i'm going to put that in time new roman font size 12 uh, let me do it now sooner than later all right good now after that i need to start inserting my levels all right so i have one two three four levels all right Let me focus on the organizational chart. I'm going to select no spacing. 
right once i do that everything is going to go back so i have to start over by putting my information in the center selecting time new roman one size square all right so i'm going to do my, put my triple space all right and then i am going to go to insert and i'm going to go to smart art when i select smart art right the box the dialog box to choose my smart art comes up it's currently on all I'm going to go down to hierarchy and when i select hierarchy there are various structures that are there all right i'm just going to select the one that i want all right says so either this one that is called organizational chart or the one that is called hierarchy all right so i'm just going to select that one seeing that the shape is closest to what it is that i'm going to be doing here so now that i've selected um hierarchy here i have the information so this could be for my sales director, all right? And then my next tier with my branch managers, all right? After that, I would have, I'm gonna select this one and I'm gonna add another level below it. So I'm gonna call, so I'm gonna to go to my add sheet um, box to the left and I'm gonna select the drop down from the drop down menu, you have add sheet after add shape before um, add shape above or add shape below all right so i'm going to select add shape above and there it gave me a shape above all right one two three so there are three levels so i'm going to select that and i'm going to go to add shape above again all right so now i have so my northern branch sales representative and then my sales re um, sales represent senior sales representative would be here sales representative here and then the information below and i'm going to do the same for the right hand side so i have both tiers here so i'm going to go to this one and i'm going to select add shape below all right and then i need two tiers as though well. i have it to that side so i'm going to select um, add shape below all right and then this one i'm going to select add shape um let me see before and there i have it all right so now i'm going to i have all so this is what my organizational chart is supposed to look like i'm now going to edit it by inserting all the information that i need so i'm going to go to the top and i'm going to select i'm going to write my um sales director and that is g dot murphy and you are P -A -Y. all right and note that the in the content is resized in the box all right so i don't need to address anything so it's northern branch or oh, it says that that should be in all capital letters R-A-N-C-H, Northern Branch, then Sales, Sales Manager, Sales Manager, T. Dot Winter, T. Winter, all right, um, T winter I'm going to go to the right or oh, let me just copy this information and paste it to the right control V for paste so instead of northern I'm going to have southern it's a bit fine but I'm going to put in all the information first and then I'm going to close out the question as usual and then I'm going to allow you to see how it looks all right so that's southern branch sales manager and the name of the person is B Woods. All right, so my next tier is sales represent senior. Sales representative. Senior sales representative. J Crooks. The good thing about this is that 
both the left and the right side the information there is similar so all i need to do is to copy and paste from left to right which will help me to move a bit faster so senior sales representative and then the name of this person is m henderson m henderson all right for the other part which is sales representatives Is representative and I press enter and the first one is age please note the signs here right the arrows which tells me which one should come first Atkinson second etc so it's H Atkinson followed by C D A A Y for day and then R it will be on this side so L Nairn will come over and then I'm going to copy the heading sales representative paste it to the right uh oh I did something wrong uh, edit text control V All right. so I'm going to press enter and then this person now is S and you see like oh this is so fine please ensure that when you are going over your work you double check all right, our ill should come from here and should be in the center here. So that's what I'm writing. You double check that you have the correct spelling, correct capitalization, etc. because you're penalized for that. All right. If your word is not spelled correctly, you lose marks. Capitali capitalization is off, you lose marks again. All right, um, I'm at the last section. So I'm assuming now that is maintenance. M -A. And tenants personnel and then this section all right let me copy that we don't have any name here no so copy and paste here and then for this one it is customer service representative okay. representative and I'm going to copy this and I'm going to paste it here all right and that is it for my organizational chart I'm just going to undo window side by side all right double check my question first and foremost says representative Jay Cook senior says just ensuring that what was to the left that I couldn't see per, um, properly was maintenance personnel that is on the right and my customer service rep is customer service representative that is there and that is it so I'm just going to go back now to the organizational chart and address that on the page all right it's a bit fine on the page so I'm adjusting it so that it can be larger better viewed by the person's marking all right and that is it also i am able to change my color if i so need to change colors all right you can do that um layout and everything you can change all right so you can fix it up anyhow you so desire but for the most part that is it based on the question that was given using smart art so the preference is yours i'm just scanning through while i'm talking the preference is yours as to how you want to draft it whether from scratch as i did in a previous video or through the use of smart art right i'm just scanning through to ensure that my spelling and my capitalization etc is correct before i close off the video all right well, thank you very much for watching guys I do hope you learn something as it relates to the smart art and there's many more to learn all right this was just me working one question so you still have not gotten the real variation of what smart art is all about however you can always practice with it from your end all right let me quickly go to print preview for you to see what this looks like
from afar. All right, so there it is. Let me zoom up a bit. All right, and that is it. All right, so please let me know how yours turned out in the comments below. Let me know your preference, whether you're rather drafting your work from scratch or using the smart art. All right, and this was requested by a viewer, so thank you very much. All right, for that. Also, if you like the video, please give it a big thumbs up. Do not forget to share with someone who you think may benefit from the content. And as always, subscribe if you have not yet subscribed to the channel. And thank you very much for watching. Thanks for being a part of my EDPM family. And see you in my next video as I try each and every time to make EDPM simple.